what is going on everybody so today i'm going to be talking about one of the best benefits to being in the army reserves so whenever i tell you guys what it is you either may or may not be surprised about it because this has kind of had an effect on my recent just life and has had a major benefit to me in my life and also i've talked about this in the past and how some people will leave active duty and then they're out of active duty they're not in the army anymore technically they're in the ir or maybe that's been past that but then they join back to go into the reserves and one of the main reasons that they switch to the reserves is because of this. Now, whenever I tell you it, I don't want you to click off the video because if you're about to join the Army Reserves, you're gonna be like, well, crap, this is not important. I don't care about this. I'm just a 17, 18 year old that doesn't care about these things. I don't want y'all to think about this because it's actually a really big benefit. It's really important. And, and that is the one thing that is probably the biggest benefit to being in the Army Reserves, at least financially, is healthcare. Now, honestly, I kind of feel a little bit stupid kind of making a video about healthcare and in the reserves and how that's just such an awesome benefit. It's such a boring topic. Like who wants to do a video on YouTube about just like healthcare and stuff? But honestly, it is really freaking amazing. And seriously, there are people, a lot of people who are in the reserves and a huge reason that they're in the reserves is because of the affordability and how awesome the Army Reserves Healthcare is, right? So we have TRICARE. So if you are active duty, you're gonna have TRICARE for active duty. So if you're active, basically all of your healthcare expenses are paid for. So if you have to go to the doctor for anything, you're gonna be good to go. You're not gonna have to pay anything. Now, if you're in the Army Reserves, you're gonna have something different. You're gonna have a different plan. You're gonna have a TRICARE plan for reservists and you're gonna have to pay for it. That's just gonna you know, have to be something that you have to do. And it is a reason why some people in the reserves don't have health care and i think that a part of the reason i'm doing this video is for those of you out there because when i see people in the reserves at my unit and i'm like you don't have tricare like what are you doing like sign up for tricare like right freaking now and so this video is kind of for you so if you're joining the armed reserves you kind of know to sign up for this and get yourself or your family on your tricare plan so basically just a quick little cost basis for you i'm not going to go in details about all the different costs and how much things are, how cheap things are, but I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown. So, and just so you guys know, if you worked at a company somewhere, you're probably gonna be paying a couple hundred dollars, around about $200 at least from my experience for your own personal health insurance. But with TRICARE, it's gonna be a little bit based off of your rank, but for the most part, you could probably expect to pay about $40, $45 a month for your healthcare, which is gonna be way better, way, way, way better than the $200 healthcare that you're gonna have through a normal business or company or whatever. So you're gonna get it way cheaper. You're also gonna get better coverage. Now also, if you're going with a family plan like I have now, then you have a set price and it doesn't matter how many kids you have. So, you know, again, one of the reasons that some people join their army reserves after being active duty or whatever, because they get out of active duty and they're like, holy crap, I have to pay like $600, $800 a month for my healthcare expenses for my family just to have the healthcare plan that I have. But when it comes to the Army Reserves, when you get the TRICARE plan, then you're gonna be paying, it's like roughly around $220. I think mine's actually $228. But again, I'm not getting into specifics. You're gonna be paying way, way, way less for that. And the reason that this video kind of just popped up in my brain, talked with my wife about it for a little bit of, of doing this video is, is because if you guys didn't know, I just had a son, okay? So if you have normal civilian healthcare, whenever you have a baby, you go to the hospital, you're gonna be paying thousands and thousands of dollars to actually have a baby. It's one of those things that I didn't really think about as a younger kid that, you know, when you go to the hospital, you have a baby, well, there is a pretty large price tag attached to having a baby. And in the reserves, that price tag is way, 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 way less. And just to give you guys a heads up on what the costs are, right? So if you're still watching this video, if you're curious, if you're not thinking that maybe this is the most boring thing in the world, because this is, in my opinion, kind of the stuff that is setting yourself up for success in life. And if you kind of ignore it and think, oh, I don't need health insurance, I'm perfectly fine, I'm perfectly healthy, nothing bad is ever gonna happen to me. I promise you something bad is gonna happen to you and you're gonna have a several thousand dollar bill from the hospital and you're gonna be wishing you paid the $45 a month for your TRICARE. So anyway, so we had a baby and recently my wife went to the doctor and she had to do her a checkup or something for, you know, after having the baby. 
and she was like, hey, just to make sure, you know, what is the bill for having a baby? Because we haven't gotten a bill or anything yet. And, you know, the doctor was like, you know, uh, the overall cost to have the baby, the price tag for having the baby was $17,000. $17,000. So if I didn't have health insurance, that is how much it would have cost me. With TRICARE health insurance, it cost me $62. Yes, you heard me right, $62. Now, if I had private insurance with a company, if I'm working somewhere, and I'm like, oh yeah, my company has perfectly amazing, the best ever health insurance, I promise you, you are still gonna be paying thousands and thousands of dollars. So the $200 a month that I'm paying for a family plan right now, which doesn't go up, the more kids you have, it's just a family plan, that is going to pay for itself over and over and over again. And I know I said I'm not gonna go into any specifics on this, but I just, again, I want to help you guys out. The younger you out there, the younger me out there that's watching this video, I want you guys to watch this video because again, if you're single and you have your own TRICARE plan, it's gonna be like 40 something bucks a month. It's really not that much money. It's less than your cell phone plan, whatever. And you can go to the hospital and not have to worry about crazy prices. You know, you can go to the doctor whenever you're feeling bad to get a prescription, the prescription cost. If you have to pay for a prescription, I think is like $13. So it's not gonna cost you an arm and leg to get stuff. It's not gonna cost you an arm and leg to do anything. For example, if you have to get an x-ray, if you're curious how much an x-ray costs whenever you are on this TRICARE plan, it is zero dollars. You don't have to pay for it. So you can kind of do all this stuff. Like I went to the doctor recently for my wrist because I can't bend my wrist and it is hurting me really bad. And essentially, all these appointments that I'm gonna be going to, it's gonna cost me like practically nothing. Now, if you did make it to this part in the video, I'm assuming that you actually care about this stuff because this is kind of like grown up stuff. This is stuff that you don't think about as a younger kid with healthcare costs. And the one caveat to all this is, and it's kind of stupid, and this is the same case for any other health insurance out there, I just want you guys to keep in mind, if you are going to the hospital, if you're going to a doctor, if you're setting up an appointment to go with somebody, you have to make sure that they are an in, in network provider and not an out of network provider. Even if they're out of network, you're still gonna be paying less than you know, really anybody else on any insurance level on the civilian side. So you're still gonna be better off doing that. But if you go in network, you basically pay nothing. If you are out of network, the price is usually about 20% of whatever the cost is. So I want you guys to keep that in mind because you may hear of people in the army reserves who end up going to the hospital and they still have to pay several hundred dollars or a thousand dollars because they had a baby or something like that. And that would be because they went to an out of network provider and it's really easy to figure out what's in network and out of network because you literally just go to their website and look it up okay so it's very very simple and i do want to mention that uh, just in case anybody is curious so really to sum it all up one of the reasons like i said that people will go to the army reserves just for this benefit is let's say you're not like an officer and you're not making you know bank and all that stuff right maybe you're a lower enlisted soldier and you got a family and your health care costs are seven hundred dollars a month if you wanted to have coverage for your family but if you join into the army reserves you know with a family plan you're gonna be paying about 220 bucks or so so you're gonna be saving five hundred dollars a month five hundred dollars a month to make sure that you know that your family is going to be taken care of especially during times like these whenever you might have to go to the hospital and you don't want to have a crazy high bill so five hundred dollars and maybe at a lower enlisted rank you're going to be getting two hundred dollars or so for your drill pay so you're going to get two hundred dollars for drill but you're saving five hundred dollars a month on your medical just bills so there's a lot of reasons for being in the military when you're active duty this is something that you don't really think about until you leave active duty and you try to go to the doctor or you try to get health insurance and then people i've seen it multiple times I'm, i promise you i've been in the armed reserves for we're getting i mean it's five and a half years or so how long i've been in the armed reserves and i've seen multiple times people leaving active duty being on the civilian side and being like, holy crap, healthcare is ridiculously expensive, but I can go into the reserves and barely pay anything and then I will have all this stuff that I need and I won't have to bother paying, you know, maybe you have a prescription that costs you several hundred dollars a month. Well, you join the Army Reserves, you have your TRICARE, you have uh, this super low prescription that you have to pay and it saves you hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month or if you have a baby, it could save you thousands and thousands of dollars just because you have TRICARE. 
So this isn't like a TRICARE little ad video, but I do want to let you guys know, like I said, this is kind of like a grown up video, but I am done talking about this. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'm gonna leave a link to the TRICARE's website so you guys can actually look at all the prices and literally look down the line of what the coverage is and be like, holy crap, like that's all it costs is four dollars for that like you've got to be absolutely kidding me whereas if you're on the civilian side you'd be paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars if not thousands of dollars for the same thing but that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button that'd be awesome if you want to stick around with some more of my videos hit the subscribe button that would be even better follow me on instagram and snapchat if you haven't already hope you guys have an amazing freaking day and i will see y'all later Drop.